Yo, what's up, friends? So welcome to the third episode of Smack That Monday. So being a magician, you must know how important it is for a magician to know a couple of false shuffles. So in today's Smack That Monday episode, I'm going to be teaching you one of my false shuffles that I use regularly. And what's good about this false shuffle is that it is very easy to do as well as it's very convincing. So you might use this false shuffle throughout your show without the spectators knowing that you are actually doing false shuffles. So grab onto a deck of cards and let's get started. So as you can see I have a deck of playing cards and I've put the jack of spades on the top and the jack of clubs at the bottom. Now I'm going to shuffle it like this way. After that you're going to find the jack of spades still on the top and the jack of clubs still on the bottom. Now if you had a deck in a new order you could have seen that all the cards would have been in arranged order. So that's the shuffle. Now let's get into the tutorial. So at first you are going to do a swing cut and after that you are going to break this packet into two parts just like that. Your thumb on one side and you are going to break it with the help of your index finger and your middle finger on the other side. So what happens right now is your other hand thumb comes over to this edge, the edge that's touching your middle finger and you're going to let your middle finger go after the thumb touches that same edge and you're going to rotate it 180 degree just like that at this point. Now you're going to take your index finger, you're going to come over here and you're going to grab this back and you're going to let your thumb off. So you're right now in this position. So while you're at this position and you're going to do the scissor cut, you're simultaneously turning this back over. So as you turn this back over, you're also doing the scissor cut at the same moment. So once you are at this point, you're going to do these two things simultaneously. And after that, what you're going to do, you're going to drop this packet in between this and this just like that and then you're going to complete the scissor cut before that don't close the scissor cut because that is going to create the false cut so I'm gonna show you the entire thing one more time in slow motion swing cut rotate that back doing the scissor cut and the turnover at the same time putting that in the middle and going like that so after you have completed your false card, you might find that some cards are even sticking out like this way. So you can square that with style. Use your hand to make a fist like this and you're going to give it a slight punch over here with this index finger over here. So you're going to give a punch which is going to cause the cards to square up on their own. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Also check my other videos on this channel. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And also check my Instagram page at the underscore Hazari. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.